Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And uh, on this Monday, we are beginning a journey of Holy Week. Uh, we're heading toward Easter, and we're going to be celebrating Easter this weekend. Uh, services Saturday at 3.30 and at 5, and Sunday at 8 o'clock at McCulloch Campus, uh, 9.30 and 11 at our Sweetwater Campus, and of course at our Parker Campus at 11. And we hope that you can join us uh, in person at one of those. If not, we hope you'll tune in and join us as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. But today we are starting off a look at the events leading up to Jesus' death and resurrection. And, and we're looking at the Last Supper uh, this morning. Uh, in Matthew 26, it tells us what Jesus did as he had gathered with his disciples to celebrate Passover. And there at the most important meal uh, for the Israelites, for the Jewish people, as they looked back at the, the deliverance from slavery in Egypt through the, the Passover lamb, Jesus shares these words. In verse 26, he says, Now, as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. For this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. See, Jesus knew what was going to happen. He knew about his death and resurrection that were ahead of him. So he connected bread and wine to his body and blood. The elements that we remember, the bread and the wine, are connected to the body and blood of Jesus that he offered in sacrifice for us. And he instructed us to observe this meal and to remember, to remember, to remember his love, to remember his mercy, to remember his sacrifice for us, and of course, to remember his resurrection from the dead. You see, when we remember, it changes us. It helps our attitudes and it fuels our faith. And we remember and celebrate, not just this, but we remember and celebrate special occasions in our own lives, don't we? Those significant moments that we look back on and, and commemorate, uh, we celebrate our birthdays. Of course, the older I get, the, the more I just kind of go, hey, my birthday is a reminder that God didn't take me home this year. Sometimes I say kill me this year, but it's really just a reminder that uh, better days are still ahead. Uh, we celebrate our children's birthdays. We celebrate our grandchildren's birthdays. And, and, and it's joyful times to say, you are important to me and to us. And of course, we celebrate anniversaries where we gather with that special someone and, and celebrate the love that God has given us and allowed us to share uh, as husband and wife. So today, as we're talking about remembering, I, I hope you remember that Jesus loves you. This is personal. It's not just us. It's you. Jesus loves you. And, and he suffered and died for you because he loves you. I, I hope that you remember that Jesus offers salvation to everyone who believes that no matter who you are, where you've been, what you've done, what's been done to you, that God not only loves you, but he wants to save you. He wants to forgive your sins and give you eternal life. And I hope that you remember that you can live differently because Jesus defeated sin, death, and hell on the cross. And he declared that victory when he walked out of the tomb. This is Holy Week, and we want you to prepare your hearts and your minds to worship the living God, the God who has sacrificed himself for you, so that you could belong to him and be in his family. And we get there when we remember. So I want you to remember that because of Jesus, you're going to heaven. And so remember and celebrate this. God bless Calvary and let's worship the living God.